Hi guys, welcome back to fifth part, which is the final video on the PC build series. In the previous video, I have shown each and every component I will be using for my build. If you have missed the video, I would recommend you to go through that and come back here. So in this video, we will directly start assembling all of them. First, I will keep my motherboard on a proper flat surface and directly start installing the processor. We have to make sure that the processor is aligned in a proper direction. Next comes the CPU cooler installation. So in this model, we have got the mounting brackets for Intel and AMD processor. So I'll just keep this AMD brackets aside. The first thing we have to install this mounting brackets to the heat sink using the smaller screws. Next, we need to install this heatsink on top of the processor. But before that, we have to install this frame at the back side of the motherboard, which helps to hold the screws properly. Now, I'll apply some thermal paste and mount the heatsink. To install this fan to the heatsink, we can make use of these clips. I'll connect this fan plug to the CPU fan connector. And this ARGB plug to the DLED connector. Next, I'll start mounting the SSD. First, we have to remove the heatsink that comes with the motherboard. Now, I'll insert this SSD to the M.2 slot. Put the heatsink back. And just screw it. Moving on to the RAM, it's already indicated we have to make use of slot 2 and 4 first. So I'll be connecting the RAM stick to the slot 2.
Now I'll mount this motherboard into the cabinet. I have got all the screws for mounting with the cabinet itself. Finally, I'll insert my graphics card to the PCI 4 16 slot. Before that, I'll just remove this vent to access the HDMI ports later. Next, I'll mount the power supply unit in the provided space. Now we are left out only with the connections or the wiring. From the power supply, you get multiple cables with different connectors, but we'll use only the required ones. To power the CPU, we have to use this 8 pin connector. To power the motherboard, this 24 pin connector is used. And finally, to power the GPU, we have to use this 6 plus 2 PCIe connector. We are done with the power connectors. Next, these USB 3.0 ports come with this plug which goes to USB 3.2 connector this HD audio plug goes to F audio connector of the motherboard finally these multiple connectors for power and reset button HDD and power LED indicator go to this respective pins as per the naming provided on the motherboard. At last, these are the fan connectors from the cabinet. In my case, the fans are not addressable, so there is no connection needed to the motherboard. We have to just use the power supply connector from the PSU. We are done with the assembly and all the connections. I have done the cable management already. So I'll just close the panel. For moving next, we have to install the windows. For that, we have to make a bootable pen drive. The basic things for this is to have a 16 GB pen drive and another computer. So I'll directly start with the steps. Go to Google and search for Windows 10 download. Click on this Microsoft official page. If you scroll down, you'll get option to download the Windows 10 installation media. So this will download a media creation tool. So you can directly open this file. Inside this, we will be able to download the Windows 10 ISO file. Accept the terms. Here select the second option, create installation media for another PC. Click next. Select the recommended options. Click next. Again, go with the second option 
ISO file. Next, select the path where you want to download the file. I'll just keep it as downloads and save it. The file starts downloading. It takes some time. And after downloading, just click on the finish button. So this is a Windows ISO file which we downloaded. In order to burn this ISO file into the pen drive, we need to download one more software. Go to Google and search for Rufus download. Click on this official Rufus site. If you scroll down, you'll get the download options for different versions. You can download the latest release of portable type. After downloading, directly open this application and plug your pen drive to the computer. So in the device, it will automatically detect your pen drive. In the boot selection, select the disk or ISO image. Click on select button and select the Windows ISO file which we just downloaded. For rest of the options, keep the default settings as it is and click on start. So here no need to select any customized options, directly click on OK. At last it will give a warning to format the pen drive. You can give OK and it will automatically start the process. After completion, you can click on this close button. And now our bootable pen drive is ready for Windows installation. Next, connect the power cables of the monitor and the CPU. Plug the HDMI port of the monitor to the HDMI port of the graphics card. Also connect the mouse and keyboard. Now start the CPU and immediately keep pressing the delete button until you get this BIOS settings page. So in this page we can able to see the information about each and every component we have connected to the motherboard, the CPU, RAM and the slot used for the RAM. At the center also the frequency and temperature details. At this point make sure the temperature is at the nominal range otherwise there might be issue with your cooling system. Also we can able to see peripherals SSD and the graphic card slots. So here for the first boot keep all the settings as default. After verifying all the details connect the prepared bootable pen drive to the USB slot and click on F10 to save and exit. So now it automatically starts booting windows from the pen drive. Once you get this windows setup page, select the language, time, the keyboard layout and click install now. If you have purchased the product key, you can just enter it here. Otherwise, we can select this option. I don't have a product key. Here I'll go with Windows 10 Home. Accept the terms. In the installation type, select the second option, which is the custom one. Finally, we have to select 
the storage space where windows to be installed since i have only one ssd i'll select the same from here the installation process starts so during this process your computer might restart several times once everything is done it asks for the basic details which you can select based on your preferences Finally we have installed the windows So now you can eject your pen drive and unplug it So if you want to convert this bootable pen drive back to normal you can just format it so even after the windows installation most of the things are not completely functional like bluetooth wifi and the graphics card for this we have to install the respective drivers all these necessary drivers you'll be able to see in the official website of your motherboard i'm searching for gigabyte b760m drivers in all these sections try to download the latest released files So install all of these drivers and at last I'll be also installing the graphics card driver in my case it's GeForce RTX 30 series so with all of these installations your computer will be ready to use. So this is all about the assembly and the setup. I hope this video will be helpful. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. In my coming days, I'll be also playing games on this computer using my DIY steering wheel setup. Stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe and also follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching. I'll be back in the next video.